The fight against racism is continuing to show in the world of sports. And our own Major League Baseball team, the Cleveland Indians, announced on Friday that the team will start talking about a possible name change following years of controversy. Our Lindsay Buckingham joins us live this morning from Progressive Field with the history of the team's name and the renewed effort for the change and what it means to indigenous people in our area. Good morning, Lindsay. Good morning to you, Romney. It's a name the team has held for 105 years. But now that there's a possible name change, we wanted to dig deep into the history and find out how we got there in the first place. Many longtime fans and sports historians believe the name was chosen to honor Louis Francis Sokalexis, a Cleveland professional baseball player, one of the first Native Americans in the game. He joined the then Cleveland Spiders, and that's believed that some fans started calling the team the Indians as a nod to his talent. Cleveland then went by the Blues in 1901, followed by a brief stint as the Broncos. Then Napoleon Lodgeway joined the Broncos and fans voted overwhelmingly to call the team the Naps. When Lajaway left, they went back to the Spiders era. When Sock Alexis led the team, that's when sports historians say the team changed to the Indians. Since then, Native Americans and other activists have gathered on opening day to chant, change the name, change the logo, for over 20 years, hoping for their own change. People are becoming hyper aware of, of, of racism towards the black community. And now, thankfully, they're taking they're paying attention to racism as it applies to the Native American communities. It's a form of erasure. It renders us invisible in the 21st century, and it relegates us to a monolithic group. It relegates us to the past. And we know that there's a growing body of scientific research showing that. Native American sports mascots and team names are harmful. And given the fact that Cleveland City Council has declared racism a public health crisis, we would like them to start with progressive field, with the baseball team. More than two decades of demonstration proving one thing, change come slowly and that's why activists Romney plan to return to progressive field on July 24th that's next opening day and our colleague Tyler Carey did a very thorough write up on this it's very interesting so if you want more details on the history of the Cleveland Indians name head to wkyc.com you know, Lindsay, I found the spider reference interesting. I actually went to the University of Richmond for undergrad, and we are the University of Richmond Spiders. So I kind of like that name a lot. What a small world. Mm -hmm. I like that a lot. Interesting. Thanks, Lindsay.